the name Pulsar is a legacy. That was the very first bike which was mainly target for the youth who were looking for a stylish Indian bike. And now there is another feather added to the crown of the Pulsar lineup that is the all new Pulsar NS 400Z. We were lucky enough today to experience this machine in my very favorite racetrack that is Kari Motor Speedway Coimbatore. Yes, it was really windy today and it was really hot but then nothing could beat the hotness of this machine. I never thought in my dream that would fit into a track because the riding position is up straight, you don't get a split handlebars, you don't have a windshield to tuck in or hide yourself and escape from the wind. But still, I had a lot of fun. In the main street, the power delivery was so nice because in a racetrack, yes, you maintain higher RPMs and this bike did not disappoint me, not even a single instance. And uh, in the corners, you could easily dip in the bike into a corner and the addition of upside down forks was like a boon. Used to give us that feedback which a rider needs on a racetrack. It would really serve the purpose on road as well. But on a racetrack, it was fun. The new Pulsar NS400Z gets a lot of add-ons. So starting with the headlights, so you get lightning bolt design over here. You also get the projector headlamps, you get upside down forks, you get a twin disc setup and you also get adjustable levers this time around and even the uh, mirrors are very stylish and solid so they do not vibrate which was there in the younger sibling. Especially, yes, the increase in cubic capacity that is, this is a 373 cc mill which churns about 40 PS of power and 35 Newton meter of torque. And uh, this time around, they have given four different ride modes that is, you have road mode, sport mode, rain mode, and an off road mode. And the rider's seat is well padded and well cushioned, even the pillion seat is soft so that you can easily tour uh, you know for long rides or you can take it for adventure trail because you have an off-road mode also in this machine that was really surprising because that came out of the box a bike like this has an off-road mode that means really signifies that Bajaj has clearly targeted this bike for that audience who are looking for long touring or adventure trips. So you get a 12 liters fuel tank and this machine has a claim mileage of 35 kilometers per liter. So that is a decent amount of mileage for a 400cc machine. When we took this machine for a ride, initially in cities first I felt that okay the bike is uh, just another 400cc bike but I was really wrong the moment I open the throttle post 4000 rpm this comes really alive from 4000 to 7000 rpm this bike plunges like a beast so uh, I owned the Pulsar NS200 back then the very first model and I used to have a feeling that it had turbocharged. It wasn't a turbocharge but it was when the torque was kicking in you would get that push but I could feel that in this bike. So uh, the Pulsar NS was very famous that Bajaj had to get different iterations that is the 180, 160 model of the NS200. So then the NS became a significant uh, brand which, which made the Pulsar outshine among uh, all the other competitors. But now the addition of uh, NS400Z has made the lineup more stronger because this is the largest pulsar ever. So, uh, being an NS, this has carried forward the same DNA what uh, NS200 has, especially the front or the tank, tail tidy, all this comes from the NS200 uh, and especially the underbelly exhaust. And uh, it sounds good.
so even uh, everything is decently put up in this machine and i really like this bike the ns400 is priced very strategically that is you can own a 400 cc bike with all the upgrades just 1.85 lakhs ex showroom delhi so that is pretty affordable and yes as you know curry is the most technical track here you have tight corners you have chicanes you have flowing corners and a long start finish straight and in the start finish straight i had a lot of fun yes there was a decent amount of wind blast and buffeting but that was bearable so post 140 150 km per hour yes that is a problem but then in the corners especially in the c1 and c2 that is in the chicane uh flipping the bike from left to right was just like piece of cake and in the uphill i could just power it through the uphill because there is ample and amount of torque available and yes this machine is powerful despite of weighing 174 kg or 170 odd kilograms i could never feel the weight beneath my thighs especially on a race track when i'm leaning the bike into a corner in some bikes yes you do feel the weight on your thighs but surprisingly it was not the same case with this bike yes i did face a problem with the brakes because uh, for such a powerful bike the brake bite was not that effective sometimes i i just uh, used to miss my braking markers or uh, you know i i just ran out of corners few, at few instances because I couldn't uh, tame this machine especially in the braking zone apart from that in flowing corners i had a lot of fun scraping my knee and uh, yes uh, this i i never felt that i'm riding a street naked it gave me the same feeling of riding a sports bike on a race track We would like to conclude saying that if you guys are looking for a bike and a 400 cc segment which is super affordable and powerful, then you have it right here, the NS 400Z. So stay tuned for CRM Motorsports for more content on racing, motorsport, and automobiles. And if racing is your dream, do join us. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.